Honeywell's ACE system on Pilatus aircraft features various data link capabilities. Essentially, data link is the ability to send text messages back and forth between an aircraft and a ground station. The ground station can be a company dispatch service or air traffic control. This video provides an overview of Datalink and CPDLC as it applies to Pilatus aircraft. For information on how to log in and begin using CPDLC, click on the links below for parts 2 and 3 of this video series. Datalink services improve communications and surveillance by supplementing voice communications and radar surveillance. As a result, many airspaces around the world now require Datalink capability. A Datalink system contains the Datalink equipment on the aircraft, an operations or ATC station on the ground, and a communications network. Sometimes, Datalink systems can include one or more service providers. An example of a Datalink network is ACARS, which stands for Aircraft Communications Addressing and Reporting System. Many pilots are familiar with ACARS as it has been in use for years for communicating with aircraft operators and certain air traffic services. ACARS is normally used to communicate with Aeronautical Operational Control, or AOC. AOC is the term used for a ground-based station other than air traffic control. An example is a dispatch service, but can also include certain ATS functions such as ATIS and clearances. CPDLC stands for Controller Pilot Data Link Communications. By using a data link network, CPDLC makes it possible for pilots to communicate with an air traffic service center using text messages. CPDLC provides universal standard phraseology, which eliminates the confusion sometimes caused by different accents or non standard phraseology. The data link system stores a log of the communications between the pilot and the ground station so a previously issued clearance can be reviewed at any time. Depending on the implementation, CPDLC also allows uplinked route clearances to be loaded directly into the aircraft flight management system, greatly reducing input errors and aircraft deviation. When configured with ADS-C, a CPDLC system can automatically transmit reports when a specific event occurs, such as crossing a waypoint, reaching an altitude, or loading a clearance into the FMS. Currently, there are two versions of CPDLC, FANS and ATN. Although an aircraft can be equipped to use both systems, the systems are not compatible with each other, and you can only use one system at a time. FANS uses the ACARS network, along with SATCOM and VHF. There are multiple versions of FANS. Each provides similar services with minor differences in features, such as a message latency timer. ATN CPDLC uses the Aeronautical Telecommunications Network. B1 stands for Baseline 1. ATN uses VHF Datalink Mode 2 service. ATN is also known as Protected Mode or PM CPDLC. You may also see it referenced as Link 2000 Plus in some older documentation. Compared to fans, ATN provides confirmation of message delivery without a loss of message integrity, meaning that messages can't be delivered partially or to the wrong aircraft. ATN CPDLC is used in some European airspace. Compared to fans, ATN has a more limited message set. For example, ATN does not support emergency message elements. So during an emergency, you'll have to contact ATC by voice. Datalink services can be used to obtain pre-departure IFR clearances. There are two types of Datalink departure clearances. One, the traditional ACARS pre-departure clearance, or PDC, uses the ACARS network and AOC ground stations to send Datalink clearances to the aircraft. PDCs are limited in functionality and cannot be pushed to the aircraft or automatically loaded into the FMS. Two, the newer CPDLC DCL uses the FANS network in the US to send clearances to the aircraft. DCL has added functionality and can be used to automatically push clearances, including amended clearances to the aircraft. For more information on CPDLC, refer to the Global Operational Data Link or GOLD document. The GOLD document can be found online and contains a great deal of information useful to flight crews such as flight crew procedures, message formatting, and more. Watch part two of this video series for information on how to log on and begin using FANS Datalink on the Pilatus ACE system.